Hello, David here, and the project for today is making a holster for my cell phone. This is a T-Mobile Revel cell phone. I have this uh, old holster. i would made a video on it, but I'm not going to put a link to that video because I'm not really crazy about this holster. This part of the holster that fits on the phone is great. I've dropped it a lot of times and hasn't broken, but this part's very weak. As you can see, they have these tabs here that hold the phone on. There's one here that I lost, so I've been using the rubber band to hold it on. But that rubber band doesn't always hold it. And this, uh, the name of that video was called Review of the Beyond Cell Cell Phone Case for the T-Mobile Revel. So this is made by Beyond Cell. They sent me a free replacement when the, these tabs broke the first time. I sent them another email and I haven't heard back from them, so I figure maybe I can make one out of Kydex. Kydex is pretty. So what I'm going to do is make a clamshell style where it's going to be one sheet. It's going to wrap around and then cinch along one side. And I'm going to use the features of this profile to hold it in because. Uh, when you mold the Kydex, you got to have some detail. There has to be something that's going to resist the product from sliding out of the holster. So I'm going to plan on doing that. And I've never made a holster before, so uh, I don't know if it's going to work or not. It might be a failure. This is going to be my. So I've accumulated some hardware. Let's go through what I've got uh, from Wildwood Tactical. I've got some Chicago screws. These are. Uh, there's 12 sets, one quarter inch Phillips truss heads with open slotted fasteners and rubber spacers. I've got some, uh, well, it's an eight pack of holster belt clips. This is something that I'll clip on your holster. This is one and three quarter inch dimension in here to fit whatever size belt you need. And they do come in different sizes. These are made in communist China. These three items I got on eBay. And this is the Kydex. This is uh, eight inches by eight inches. Plain on one side. It's got a carbon fiber type of color and finish on it, and I thought it would match the uh, carbon fiber finish on my phone, and it doesn't really match. The color is different, and the pattern is similar, but it's a smaller pattern than what's on my phone, but that's okay. And what I want to do is uh, these belt clips don't swivel. They're uh, once you secure them in there, uh, they can't move, and the phone has a swivel, and that's kind of nice because sometimes when you're standing, you want your phone to be vertical. When you're sitting, you might want to swivel it. Uh, I'd be okay if it was uh, in one place if I had it at a slight angle. So if I had a slight angle like this, the phone would fit like in between the bend of my hip. And it pretty much stays like that anyway when it's on this. But I'm going to see if I could take this clip off and incorporate it into the new holster. Kydex comes in different thicknesses. This is 80 thousandths of an inch thickness which is equal to about 2.05 millimeters. Other than snapping this cap out of there, I can't see of any way of getting that out. So it looks like it's not made to come apart and that's a shame. Let's discuss the molding process. Uh, there's two ways to do it. You could use a vacuum frame, which will probably give you better definition, but that's expensive. Or you could use two sheets of foam and compress it that way. 
it's cheaper but the definition isn't as good so I have a table that my neighbor gave me and I cut up the center leaf which expands the table and I thought the wood was made out of laminated hardwood but I'm disappointed because it's particle board but I'm gonna go with it anyway I got a lot of screws to hold it together I hope the screws don't pull out this is uh, three quarters of an inch thick it's 14 inches by 14 inches I have uh, two sheets of neoprene foam which is one inch thick 12 inches by 12 inches the piece will fit in there and it gets squeezed I got some door hinges from Habitat for Humanity and uh, these are the screws that are screwing it together and I got it shim properly so that the frame will close on the two pieces of foam without a gap and also it's shim so it's not too tight so uh, you just have to close it then you gotta look in there so you make sure there's no space in there when you got it closed and then once I have the kydex heated up wrapped around the product I'll sandwich it in the foam and they'll have two clamps and I'll clamp the open end of the frame right there and you just let it clamp until the uh, kydex cools down. So I cut a sheet of paper to match the kydex to see how the phone would fit in there and it's going to be tight. I mean I, I'm going to have an open end at the top. So I'm not worried about the bottom, I'm worried about the sides. It's going to pinch like that. I don't think it's going to stretch at all. I don't have any room for slop on the sides because I will have to sand it and smooth it. Well, I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to have to get a larger sheet of Kydex. Okay, just for some clarification, the 12 inch by 12 inch, 1 inch thick foam for our forming holsters came from Texas Knife Maker Supply. And the 8 inch by 8 inch Kydex came from Holster Builder in Williamsburg, Virginia. Six sheets was $36.65. So I glued two popsicle sticks together and cut them down and put them in an oval. I have to uh, create a bulge in the Kydex for some offset so the screws don't interfere with the phone and I'm going to have an angle, I don't know, 15 or 20 degrees. I'm going to tape that down. Okay, I've got my toaster oven running. It's set at 350. I'm going to pull this uh, protective sheet off the Kydex. Yeah, I'm going to put some gloves on because it's going to be hot when I get it out. These gloves that they give to pallbearers would be good gloves, but they may not be thick enough. So I got these uh, rubberized uh, gardening gloves. I want to position everything carefully since that kydex is barely large enough to fit. So I'm going to be handling it. I want to get it between 300 and 375. I've got the toaster oven set for 350. It's about 340 in there now. I've got my phone ready to go. It's shut off. I've got that spacer about where I want it. And I'm going to wrap it around the top. Clench it on the bottom. We'll see how much stretch this Kydex has or when it's in a heated up uh, state rather. Got two clamps ready to go on the frame. Two thirty-five. Whoa, that's at four hundred. It's ready to come out.
does stretch. It shrunk. This is not going to be good. <clears throat> too small. If I get an 8 by 12 piece, it's not going to fit in my toaster oven either, so I'm in trouble. At least the gloves are insulating my fingers from the heat. Nope, that's not good enough. I'm not getting the pinch at the bottom. That does not look good. I think I got it too hot because I got some pinholes in here. I've lost the design of the uh, carbon fiber. They get some definition in here. I'm going to try to shape it some with the heat gun. I'm going to trim away the excess. I got my Dremel set up with the carbide cutter.
I decided not to put a screw through that flange there because look how big the opening gets when I slide the phone out. Maybe I'll show it when I'm putting it in. See that? Tension's very good. Let me try it on. So I used 13 64 inch drill bits for these two holes. That seemed to fit the best. And uh, I know it's ugly. It's not pretty. But it holds the phone in very well. Let's try it on. It's kind of hard to get on my belt because the belt is so worn out it's really flimsy. There we go. Got a little bit of slop there. But it probably would have wanted to made it a little more horizontal, but with the one and a half inch belt I have, there's there's a lot of slop in there. Retention's very good. I'm not worried about not having a a screw holding this flange down. And there we go. Getting it off, you gotta kinda get your finger underneath, open up the, uh, the clamp to get it out. I think with a firmer belt, it would work much better. And there you have it. It's not pretty, but it's my first attempt. Hopefully I'll do better on my next. I wanna thank you guys and gals for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos from David GPO.